a very big welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video. And you may have noticed that we went straight into some sped up footage here and that's because we have a gut of a month of footage to get through in this video. I'll explain why this is the case but this is going from the 23rd of March to the 20th of April and as we continue I'll, exp I'll explain why that is the case. So on the 24th of March we did have another visit from the Great Tits and we had the usual contact calls with the male coaxing the female into the box. And I really do love hearing those contact calls as it's uh, I haven't had Great Tits nesting in the box for years and uh, I'm just not as used to it as I am with the Blue Tits so it's really nice to see the different behaviour. And we can see that was a fairly quick check and the female didn't even bother with any nests and shuffles. And our male just isn't satisfied with that, so he continues to try to coax her in. And after about a minute or so of trying, he eventually manages to convince her to give this place another go or another investigation. So at this point in time it really seems like the male is much more interested in this box than the female. But God loves a trier and eventually his patience pays off and she comes in for a proper look around. And unusually again the male is hesitant to leave, he tends to take a while to leave until she starts hissing at him to go away and let me do my work in peace. And again, we see her take a look around, not that interested, and off she goes. And so that brings us back to the blue tits. Uh, now, you may notice the camera is slightly tilting upwards more than I would like, uh, and eventually I do actually manage to fix this. Uh, the camera actually shuts off for a few days uh, coming up in this video, and I take that opportunity at night to go out, fix the camera, and I realign it. So we still see that there's some um, nesting material being brought in, but the whole process has slowed down considerably. And that is a big part of the reason why I've put so much footage or so many days in this one video. As if I didn't, we would have numerous videos, I mean three, four, five, six videos, of this behaviour right here. Our resident female just attacking that back wall like nobody's business, bringing in a little bit of nesting material and even taking out some. And we'll see in this video coming up that eventually she actually starts taking out most of the nesting material, which is quite unusual. It does happen, I've actually spoke about it before, that I've seen in other nesting series that blue tits can have the nest not or pretty much built um, or a lot of material in not built as such and then just take all of it back out again. And so the camera actually malfunctions after this and I had to fix it and so we actually lost a number of days as I don't live in the same county that uh, the nest is in. So we are starting again on the 4th of April and you can see quite a considerable amount of moss gets brought in. So I was quite pleased when I saw this. Um, I thought, this is great. The nest is getting well on its way. But then what su surprised me is a lot of the behaviour, well, it didn't really amount to anything. They would come in, they'd have a look around, um, maybe bring in a little bit of material, maybe take a little bit out, maybe bring a little bit in, and nothing was really happening as such, other than a lot of this behaviour that I've sped up. Um, and on the 7th of April, the behaviour changed again to more nest material started to be brought out, than being brought in. And I honestly, I'm not too sure why the birds do this. It's a well documented behavior where I've seen it happening in numerous nesting series. Um, some people think that the moss has been there too long. It's kind of dried out. It's, it's you know, hard to shape now because it's kind of dried out. 
um, so maybe they need new moss in because if it's not damp but not dried out it'll kind of mold to a nest cup a little easier and then will dry out in the shape of a nest cup so that's my working theory who knows and we'll have to at some point or another name these pair of blue tits so I'm not a hundred percent sure of any names so start throwing your um, suggestions in the comments any names at all if you see suggestions that you like uh, give them a thumbs up and I'll start looking at the most thumbs up suggestions and then we'll have a poll at some stage or another but I wanted to get to the point in the videos where it was um, the nest was well getting on and starting to be built and that's going to be in the following videos but before all that we're going to have to see just how much nesting material actually gets brought out of this nest. And we can see still on the 7th of April here that material is in fact still being brought out. And this is the behaviour that we're seeing mostly. The female blue tit will come in, try a nest and shuffle, think to herself that won't do and then take out a piece of moss. And this is the behaviour that we saw repeat itself through the 8th to the 9th to the 10th. It looked like the nest was starting to fill up a little bit more, but she was certainly still taking out more moss than it was coming in. She'd bring in some, it looked like it was getting on its way, and then she'd take out some just as much. And on the 10th we also had a great tit visit, so maybe the competition in the nest box is playing into the hesitance to finish this nest as maybe the blue tits are worried there's no point finishing and building a nest and investing in a nest box if these great tits are going to be a pain in the backside the entire time but at some point or another the great tits are going to have to start nesting and if they don't choose this which because of the live stream we know they don't they're going to have to nest elsewhere and once they start nesting and invest in somewhere else, they're going to lose interest in every other nest box in the area. And once there's eggs involved and certainly chicks, they start being a lot more tolerable of um, other blue tits and other great tits in their territory because they're so fixated on finding food that they don't have time to chase away rival males. And from the 10th to the 20th, I've sped up a huge amount of footage here. Um, we see that it is blatantly obvious that this nest is bleeding nesting material. And it actually gets to the point where I thought um, it was going to be down to an empty nest again. And so on the 10th of April, she comes in looking a little bit more serious about nest building, but then proceeds to start taking out all the material. And this is how it plays out. We can see that bit by bit, there is less and less material in that nest box. As I've stated, I really do believe that it's just the case that she needs new material in there. Maybe it's dried out too much and it doesn't cup well. Who knows, I'm sure they know a lot better than us the ins and outs of nest building. And while we watch herself slowly undo all the hard work that she's done over the past few weeks, um, back to what will we name these birds? Um, she's quite a funny bird, pecking a lot at the back wall there. I'm not too sure if there's a name there. I'm at a loss at what to name them myself. Um... So be sure, as I was saying, throw any suggestions you have in the comments. If you see other suggestions, please give it a like if you do like the suggestion. And we will have a poll and we will decide what we will name these birds. And uh, I'll get the live stream up and running. When the live stream isn't running, just know I'm pulling footage from the app as well. Because um, the camera kind of crashes and the app crashes if I try to stream and pull footage from it. So if it's not there, no, I'm working away on the narrated videos. And we can see in the 20th, there is a considerable less amount of 
nesting material in the nest box than if there was on the 10th. So I'm going to leave this footage here and you guys start thinking of names and uh, we will see you in the next video. Bye bye.